week 118. And this is Ladies Week, y'all. So, I, I don't know if you guys know this, but some gels um, make sex protective gear. I, as in condoms and dental dams and all of that good stuff, unavailable because they don't want to seem like they're promoting or encourage, encouraging the inmates to have sex. Now, here's the thing. When Aaron thought about this question, it reminded him how some schools would not want to have the sex education classes and the videos and all that stuff because they did not want to promote sex. So in both scenarios, like sex is going to happen anyway in jail, because I promise you, if I was in jail, I would be a daddy for sure, for sure. <laughs> Fucking all the bitches in jail. <laughs> but in, in both cases, whether in jail or whether in school, sex is, in, is inevitable. It's like Thanos. It's inevitable. You know, so like, you know, my, my question is like, you know, so what are your general thoughts on this topic? Like, what can we what can be done to protect? these like at risk populations in jails and schools and stuff like that. So um, I was actually signed on to actually talk about this first, but I honestly, I wanna hear what Chrissy has to say first about this. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I was just having this, I have this discussion all the time with people like sexual urges happen in the womb. You gonna feel some sexual urges no matter where you at, <laughs> it don't matter if you're in a cage or if you're free, you're going to want to fuck. You're going to want to sex. You're going to want to touch. You're going to kiss. you want to lick. You're going to want to touch all that. You're going to want to do all that. That's something that's natural. So a cage is not going to change any of that. Right. You know? So, all right. If you're going to, okay, if it's a good... Damn it, provide the condoms. Because people are going to fuck. They're going to do it. They're going to have sex. They're going to do it. You're not going to stop it, no matter what. And trying to is going to encourage it even more because people are naturally rebellious by nature. We're not, Absolutely. we're not here to follow anyone's standard. We are <laughs> definitely created the way that we are. People call it divine or whatever they call it, you know? We're created the way that we're created. We're all sexual beings. So why try to discourage it in any setting? If you're going to uh, at least address it, address it in a healthy manner, provide condoms, provide contraception, provide, you know, education, you know? Because people are gonna have sex. If they're attracted to somebody, in whatever setting they're in, they're going to have sex, provide the things that's gonna protect them from illness and disease. That's my opinion about that. I agree. I think that when it comes to like being in jail and also school, because let's just be honest, it's basically the same thing. Um, <laughs> you know, um, a lot of the times, especially in women's prison and also in men's prison, like you don't have to worry about I mean, I'm going to say, you know, you have to worry about like, you know, female fucking another female or male fucking another female, but a lot of DCOs be fucking the females in the female prisons as well. And I'm pretty sure they're not getting ready for the start of their shift. Like, oh, let me pack a condom right quick. You know what I'm saying? And then a female gets pregnant. She has a baby. It was just like this whole commotion for no, for no reason. When if the aid is available, then I think that it should be given. I approach sex in school and sex in prison like how I approach, you know, sex when I talk when I talked about it with my 13 year old daughter, when I talked about it with my nephew, who at the time was like 14, I think like that, like, you know, like, I was very honest with them about it. I was just like, yo, you're gonna get to a point where it should feel good. And you gonna want to do it often. So, you know, what I'm saying? if you gonna do it often, what's the number one rule? <laughs> my nephew said, don't get one of these hoes pregnant. I was like, you are absolutely correct. However, how are you not going to do that? He was like, use a condom. Absolutely. If you never ever need a condom, come to me. You know, like before, um, before I got into a relationship, I was really big on keeping condoms in my house. Cause you know, like this whole, you know, this whole stigma that, that me and I are supposed to bring the condoms when they're coming over for booty calls. And then they come over without the condom and you still want to fuck. So y'all still fucking without a condom. Absolutely not. 
I'll sit there. I'll, I've sat in Walmart for 45 minutes one time waiting for an associate to come over to unlock the condoms so I can give you a box of condoms. Like, I'd like, no, like if, if it's there, you should be able to utilize it. And I think that what schools and what the county is not understanding is that when they're at, if they're making these options available, that is going to decrease the headache that the public school system have or that schools have or that you know the county has when it comes to jails and stuff like that like if we're making it available for them because we're always going to find a way you're right Chrissy we're all we're absolutely are always going to find a way to break the fucking rules it's in our nature like it's in our nature as humans not just as black people or black women or black like it's just in our nature as people as a people to break the rules so I think that if we are handling it to where we are pre we are we are making these pre-assumptions that these things are happening that while these things are happening that'll be less we got to deal with that'll be less you know stds that are transferred around the you know the schools or should i say the community for them schools or the jail and being in jail and stuff like the prison system and stuff like that is it's less of those things less pregnancies you know less abortions and all of that, on all, all of those things, like it'll be a it'll be a decrease in what society deems as the wrong situation in these situations. So hopefully, like you know, the prison system get their act together and like get on fucking board. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go to my home girl, CC. What's up, baby? You see, I'm a poet, and you already know it. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey. Um, I feel like Chrissy took the words right out of my mouth and I agree with her. Like they should definitely supply these things. I mean, everybody's grown at the end of the day. So it's not even mm -hmm. guaranteed that motherfuckers is going to use it. You know what I'm saying? Like they, everybody's going to do what they want to do at the end of the day. If you want to, like you said, you forget it, that heat of that moment is brewing. You want to say, fuck that shit, pull out. And then it's easier for women, though, too, because if you're a woman fucking with another woman, you can't make a baby. So you're not about to get pregnant. You can make but, a baby, I mean, you do still, you still do have the risk of, you know, all the STDs and all that other stuff. But people take those risks all the time that mm -hmm. aren't even in, you know, prison or mm -hmm. anything else. Like, even the kids that are in school they have access to it outside of school you know so yes the school system should make them more aware and do what they need to do and supply these things but even with that being said isn't like as a parent you're supposed to have that conversation too though mm -hmm. and do all that stuff so should we really like when it comes to the school aspect of everything should we put that all on the school system because you know, you got to have that talk with your kids. You got to <laughs> supply it and stuff like that. Your kid going to school to learn history, science, math, and Spanish or French, whatever they want. But, and, you know, like, you got to be the adult and have that conversation with your kid. But as far as, like, the prison systems and stuff like that go, they should definitely make that more accessible to them because you got people that's in there for life. Ain't no way in hell they not getting their dick sucked for life. Okay. Right. Somebody's doing something. Somebody's getting done in the butt. If something happens. So they should definitely give that option to the inmates if they're not. I agree. Jazz, so. you back with us? Yeah, sorry. No, you're good. You're good, girl. You know, we got your back. That's what ladies do, you know? <laughs> Um, so we were, we're talking about the prison system and school systems not um, aiding and bidding. <laughs> That's a funny way to put it. Um, sexual education in the school systems and um, the prison systems, like, you know, uh, like contraceptives, like maybe birth control or, you know, dental death or a little kinda, kinda, like, you know, so what do you think about that? Should they put it in the schools or not? Or what should? Well, in the more so in the prisons, it's just that in school they don't talk about it as well. Oh, 
So should they talk about it or not, right? Or yeah, should, should, should these things be available in prisons, like condoms? Like, cause you know, in an all women prison, you know, it's a all it's a all woman, so they don't think that condoms should be available, but not knowing that the CEOs be fucking the prisoners. Yeah, um, yeah, it should. I think I think that's a good idea. So they can have it and you know, whenever they need to use it, they can use it. <laughs> Yeah, should they should they be doing it in school as well? Because you know, a lot of times, so the reason why they don't want to do it is because they don't want to promote or encourage these people to have sex. Um. Yeah, I think they shouldn't do it in the. I think if they're gonna do that, like how us and anyone like older or whatever in the schools, if they're gonna do it, I think that kind of can be a new good thing that they should do. But I think they can only, they should only do it for people who are like middle and high school because their ages where they're getting bigger and they're aware. But I don't think like, even if you know about some stuff younger, like you're not like promoting it kind of thing because you're not going to probably do it if you don't know about something like just anything. Anyone's not going to do something if they don't know about it for the most part. But I think it should kind of be more promoted to like if any middle and high school because you're off to, you're like old enough, like older. You're probably like, you know, smart enough for a lot of different things. <laughs> yeah, so when when you say older, um, I want to propose this question because a lot of the people that I know, um, like they left their virginity at 12. I'm like, literally one of my only friends that stayed that stayed a virgin until I was 18 and graduated high school you know you you didn't know that about me I, I I went to college pregnant boo I got pregnant my first time having sex I went to college pregnant <laughs> but um I know so you were pregnant but I was just saying I know it's the first time <laughs> yeah my first time yeah so you you don't think that it should be something that should be talked about well before high school because like you know they're doing this in middle school like middle school where i'm at in cleveland i went to Collinwood middle school it doesn't exist anymore but i went to Collinwood middle school it was lit in Collinwood middle school a lot of people was doing a lot of there's a party that my sister wasn't attending to that i've had i've heard so many rumors about the nasty shit that it went down she still has to this day and i'm 32 and she's 34 has never told me about this fucking party never told me the details about this party or anything like that 